Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a 20 minute Pilates cardio workout with an emphasis on our glutes. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. For today's class, we will have two rounds. In each round, there will be 10 different exercises that we will perform for 45 seconds and then we'll rest for 15 seconds in between. So getting ready for our first exercise, let's go. Squat down two times and then kick your leg to the side. So two little pulses down in your squat and then lift your leg out in line with your hip. Make sure that in your squat, your knees and your toes are slightly turned out and that you're really shifting your weight back into your heels, drawing your belly button in. Reach through your toes, lengthen through your leg as you kick your leg out to the side. This is a great way to warm up our glutes. Three more seconds, two, and a one 15 second rest our next exercise will be jumping jacks you can either keep it low impact like i'm doing here or you can pick up the pace and take your traditional jumping jacks here we go really work those arms even if you are doing the low impact version you'll still get your heart rate up if you really use those arms Good job everyone, take this at your own pace, whatever feels good for you, especially in this first round. Ten more seconds, keep your energy levels up, you've got it. Three, two, and a one. Next exercise, we will take a lunge and then kick our back leg behind us and press up, starting with our left leg forward and our right leg back. Getting ready, here we go. Lunge down, kick your right leg, lunge and press up. Inhale as you lunge, exhale as you kick, inhale, lunge, exhale, press up. Now make sure in this exercise that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle and that you're slightly hinged forward in your lunge. That way you'll feel a nice burn in your left glute. Keep your left knee nice and bent. You're doing really well. Keep drawing your navel in. Three more seconds, two and one. Next exercise, let's just take some high knees before we get straight into the other side. Getting ready, let's go. You lift and lift, lowering your arms down to meet your knees and then reaching them back up to the sky. Take a nice exhale. Each time you pull your knee up nice and high, really focusing on crunching through your abs. You've got it. Can you pick up the pace a little bit? Really raise your heart rate. Ten more seconds. Lift those knees up nice and high. Use your arms. Three more seconds, two, and a one. Returning to our lunge, this time with our right foot forward and our left foot back. Okay, getting ready, let's go. Inhale, lunge, exhale, kick. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press up. Keep going. Make sure that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and that you're slightly hinged forward when you come into your lunge so that you really work your right glute. 
you've got it. As you kick your leg back, really focus on lengthening through your body and squeezing through your left glute. Ten more seconds. Keep bending into your right knee. Three, two, and one. Next exercise, I know everyone's favorite, burpees. Taking either the low impact modification by stepping your feet back and forward or jumping your feet back and forward. Getting ready, let's go. So walk your feet back into a plank, walk them back up, come into your squat and press up. This is your first option, which is always a good option for round one. Second option is to jump your feet back and then forward. Make sure that when you step or jump your feet up towards your hands, that your feet are mat distance apart, your knees and your toes are turned out, finding that good squat technique. Keep going, you're doing really well. Five more seconds. Three, two, and a one. Okay, let's come down into our side kneeling position on your left hand and your left knee. And we're just gonna take some rainbow kicks with our right leg. Getting ready, let's go. Inhale, tap forward, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap back, exhale, lift. So tapping the front edge of your mat and then the back edge of your mat. This will really get in to the outside of our glutes. Try to lift that leg up to hip height or even a little bit higher if you can. Ten more seconds. You're doing really well. Five, four, three, two, and a one, you guessed it. We're gonna do that again with the other leg. Okay, getting ready, let's go. Inhale, tap forward, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap back, exhale, lift. Make sure that your right hand is underneath your right shoulder. Really press the floor away from you, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. You've got this, keep breathing. Inhale, tap forward, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap back, exhale, lift. Three more seconds, two, and one. Okay, second last exercise. We squat down, curtsy, tapping our hand down to the mat, squat, and then curtsy to the other side. Staying nice and low. Getting ready, let's go. You squat and curtsy, squat and curtsy. Really important in this exercise that you are sending your glutes far behind you, keeping your spine straight and drawing your navel in. Really try to squat down nice and low. You're doing really well. You should definitely be feeling it in your legs and glutes at this point. I know that I was, so just keep breathing. Three more seconds, two, and one. Okay, final exercise of round one are mountain climbers. Keeping it nice and slow, or you can speed it up for that extra challenge. Getting ready, let's go. You pull and pull. Nice, exhale and exhale. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, Press the floor away and really draw up through your belly button, working those abs. Feel free to run those knees out if you want a little extra challenge or keep it slow and controlled like me. 
You've got it. Round one is almost done. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven. This is it. Six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Woo! Well done. Okay, quick little rest, and then we get straight into round two. Getting ready for our squats. Let's go. You pulse down two times and then kick your leg out to the side. Nice inhale as you squat down. Exhale as you kick your leg out to the side. Make sure your knees and your toes are pointed out and you're really shifting your weight back into your heels. Maybe squat down a little bit lower if you can and kick your leg out a little bit higher. Three more seconds, two and a one. 15 second rest and then we go into our jumping jack. Okay, jumping jacks, let's go. You pick your option, either keep it low impact like me, or you can jump your legs out and in, in your traditional jumping jacks. Whichever option you are taking, really work your arms for me. That way you'll really raise your heart rate. You've got it. Last time you do these jumping jacks. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and a one. Back to, I think, my favorite move. Starting with your left leg forward and your right leg back. Okay, getting ready. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, kick. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press up. Keeping that slight hinge forward with your body so that you really work into that left glute. Make sure that when you shift your weight forward and kick your leg back, that you're keeping your left knee super bent. We don't want to release that burn from our left glute. Ten seconds. Really lengthen through your spine as you kick your leg back. Three, two, and a one. Fifteen second rest, and then we take our high knees. Okay, getting ready. Let's go. You lift and lift. Nice. Exhale and exhale. Really bringing your arms down to meet your knees, lifting your knees up nice and high. Can you pick up the pace a little bit for this second round? This is the last time you do these knees, so really give it all you got. Try to find a nice crunch through your abs as you pull your knees up nice and high, really dropping your ribs down to your hips. You're almost there. Five seconds, four, three, two, and a one. Okay, other side. Right leg forward, left leg back, getting ready for our lunges. Okay, let's go. Inhale, lunge down. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press up. Really make sure your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Really squeeze your left glute as you kick your left leg back. You're almost there. 
Can you lunge down a little bit lower, really bending into your right knee? Five seconds, four, three, two, and a one. Okay, everyone's favorite, burpees. Remember, taking the option that feels good for you, either walking your feet back and forward or jumping them back and forward. Getting ready, let's go. You squat down, walk your feet back, walk your feet up, return to your squat and press up. So really make sure that you find that good position in your squat first before you walk your feet back and then also when you come back up. That way you'll really work into your glutes a little bit more. Really shift your glutes back, weight into your heels as you come into your squat staying lifted up through your navel as well. Keep going, only five more seconds. Four, three, two, and a one. Aren't you glad that one's over? Let's now return to our side kneeling position. So coming down onto your left knee with your left hand underneath your shoulder. Getting ready, let's go. Inhale, tap forward, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap back, exhale, lift. You are more than halfway through the final round, so just keep your focus and stay with me. Try to lift your leg up at hip height or even slightly higher, really working into that right glute. Use your breath to help you. Inhale, tap forward, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap back, exhale, lift. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Well done, quick little rest, and then we'll take it to the other side. Okay, other side. Tap forward, lift, tap back, and lift. Inhale as you tap, exhale as you lift. Last time you do this exercise, use your breath to help you. You're doing really well. Only two more exercises after this and then we get to stretch it out. 10 more seconds. Can you lift the leg up a little bit higher? Five, four, three, two, and a one. Okay, hopping up for our second last exercise, our squat and curtsy. Getting ready, let's go. You squat and curtsy, squat, and curtsy. So really make sure that when you curtsy that you're bending into your knees to be able to tap the floor with your hand. Be careful that you're not rounding through your upper back, kind of reaching with your upper body. I want you to use your legs. You've got to keep your knees and your toes turned out, shifting your weight back into your heels. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and a one. Guess what, final move is here. So enjoy this quick little break and then let's come into our mountain climbers. Getting ready, here we go. You pull and pull, nice exhale and exhale. Now, since this is the final round of class, feel free to run your knees out, really picking up the pace, challenging yourself and raising your heart rate. You've got it. Wherever you are, just keep breathing and keep moving. 15 more seconds. Stay strong, you've got this. 10 seconds. 
really pull those knees up nice and high this is it five seconds four three two and a one well done everyone lower your knees and press back into a well-deserved child's pose let your forehead rest heavy on the mat and take a nice big sigh of relief then roll the length of your spine up and let's come on to our glutes extend your right leg straight and open your left knee flex your right foot inhale reach your arms up and exhale reach forward coming into your forward fold Then inhale, lift your chest and exhale, come back up. Let's cross our left foot over our right thigh now and just bend your right knee in so that you feel a nice release through your left glute. Stay lifted through your chest. Then from here, just drop your legs over to the right with your left leg across your right. Sit up nice and tall. Then inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale twist to the left looking over your left shoulder or maybe closing your eyes if that feels good for you then carefully unwind and let's extend our left leg forward now opening our right knee flex your left foot inhale reach your arms up and exhale fold forward Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift your chest, and then exhale, release. Cross your right foot over your left thigh and bend your left knee in, feeling a beautiful release for your right glute. Try to stay lifted through your upper body, opening through your chest, and then drop your legs over to the left. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, reach your left arm up, and exhale, twist over to the right. Then carefully unwind, and let's find a comfortable cross-legged position. On your inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, side bend over to the left, really turning your chest up towards the sky. Other side, inhale, reach your left arm up, exhale, side bend over to the right. And then return through center and let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's cardio and booty workout. If you want to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and have the most beautiful day.